everybody. It's me, Miss Yu, and we're going to work on SliderMate. I'm going to name the document SliderMate. You do not need to do a new document. It's better if you just add a tab. I'm going to do a top view. There's my top view. I'm going to go sketch, and I'm going to go center point rectangle. The first part that I'm going to be doing is uh, the slot. It is going to be three by two. Any dimension you use works, whoops, because you just have to make sure it's good. It will fit your peg, whatever the size is. I'm now going to extrude it, and I'm extruding it one inch. Now I'm going to do it. Let's make sure it's how I want it to look. Now let's do a top view. I'm going to do a sketch. I'm going to do a circle. I'm going to dimension it to one. I'm going to go sketch. Okay. Um, now I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to remove. Okay. Remove. Check. My slot is done and you could call it slot. So I'm going to change it. You should have a bunch of other tabs. I'm going to rename, and I'm going to call it slot. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the peg. I'm going to go check. Where's my peg? Um, create part. And I'm going to do top view again. And uh, whoops. There it is. Top view again. I'm now going to do my peg is going to be a circle. So I'm going to go sketch, circle, center point circle. And I'm going to dimension it to one. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go check. I'm going to select it. I'm going to extrude it to three or four inches. I'm going to do four. Okay. And now my part is almost done. But let's take a look at how it's looking. This is my isometric view. Now I'm going to go on top. I'm going to do a top view. I'm going to do a center point. I'm going to sketch on it. I'm going to do a center point rectangle. And a couple of people asked me how wide. Not wide at all. Whoops. Wider than that. Let me go select, sketch, center point rectangle. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to just extrude it. I'm going to go check. Oh, I did not. Um, let me just. I need to dimension these. We're going to call this one. And I'm going to call this 0.25. That's one. This line over here, let me go to dimension. This line is 0.25. Okay, I'm going to go check. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to extrude it. And I'm going to go remove. And I'm going to do two inches since I did a long one. But whatever you do is fine. And you should have a peg with a slot in it. And that will help us uh, examine turning. Okay? So we are all set. Now I'm going to do my assembly. I'm going to go to assembly one. You might have to go plus create assembly. I'm going to insert uh, my two parts. One, I always like to make it smaller. And then the next one should come in soon. Great. Okay, I'm going to go check. Okay, 
The next thing I'm going to do is I want to fix, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to fix it. I'm going to select it, right click, and I'm going to go fix. I've seen other ways of fixing it and maybe um, at a later point we'll talk about it, but this is definitely the easiest. And when I fix it, um, now I'm going to do the slider mate. This is slider mate. And I'm going to select the top over here. And let me move this slider mate down here. And now I'm going to select the bottom because I wanted to go in bottom first. Okay. Then I'm going to go um, check. And I want to see how it looks, so I'm going to go isometric, okay? And let's see, it goes up and down beautifully and does not go right or left, so that's exactly what we wanted, or back and forth, And um, but it goes up in the air, which we don't like, so what we're going to do, oops, make sure you X out of the slider too. We're going to select slider, and we're going to put limits on it. Okay, and my limits, I think, are going to be, um, my minimum is going to be zero, and then my maximum will be, it's four inches, so I'll do 3.5 inches. That's the most it will come out, and let me get inches, and let me go check. And let's make sure it works. So it goes down, but I want it to go up. Okay, and you see I have a half an inch, so I'm going to play with what my limits are. My limits are... Um, I like zero. I think that's okay, and I'm going to try negative four inches, negative four. Let's see what happens there, because I think that just changes the direction. Oh, that didn't work. And somehow I lost my slider because I didn't like that limit. So the minimum I'm going to have still is zero, and my maximum I'm going to have as three. And that works. And so it only goes down to three, and it comes out, okay? Oh. Okay, if I want to click on the um, mate, it will, arrows will come, which will make movement a little bit easier. See, it stops moving at three. Okay. And you just kind of have to play with it. Let's see what happens if I do a half. So I think it will always stay, let's click on it. Whoops. I want to click on the, the mate. There it is, it goes from, it never comes out totally because I had the maximum, the minimum it goes out is a half. All right, so that is slider mate. Let me see what happens when I go to four. There, that's, look how great that is. Okay, down, up.